Gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Bar Talk. Bar Talk is brought to you by Moment to Remember Studio here in Sunrise, Florida. As always, Moment to Remember Studio is your one-stop studio for all things photo, video, and print. So whether you need a passport picture or your next major uh, event, just call us. Let's sit, let's talk, let's see how best we can make this happen for you. And of course, you know, this program is brought to you by Jamaicans.com. Jamaicans.com is a leading platform. It's hosted on Jamaicans.com. And it is the leading platform for all things Jamaican, the Caribbean, and beyond. Folks, this evening we have a wonderful program. Uh, it's going to be entertaining. It's going to be in, in, informative. It's going to be enlightening. We're talking about our special guest this evening, none other than Mayor Hazel Rogers. Order of Distinction, OD. Okay, and so we got get to know her. We have known her from, um, you know, being state rep. We have known her for being all these other things. Uh, mayor of the city, great city of Lauderdale Lakes. Today she and the family is out, and we're going to know her uh, a little bit more beyond that. Uh, in fact, today's uh, our show is entitled The Woman Behind It All. She's been in um, politics by itself. She's been um, giving back to the community for the last, what, 35 years. All right? Now, just before we begin, a couple of things. You know you guys watch us from all over the globe, from as far as China, Ghana, uh, Trinidad, Tobago, of course, Jamaica, right? Um, and you've watched us even locally from, um, but it's Pompano or, you know, anywhere in Florida and the United States. We like to know, we feel a sense of joy when you text in and say, hey, where are you calling from? So just let us know. Just text in if you enjoy the show. Uh, there are so many reasons to celebrate this lady today. Just say hi to her. Say hello. Applaud her. We have a lot to talk about, okay? Secondly, the best way to get other people uh, engaged in this is to just text their name in the chat. Text their name or call them and say, hey, listen, watch the show. Okay, first of all then, folks, um, and as always, I can't do this by myself. I have a team here. I'm just a guy like I tell people all the time. I'm the guy who is designated to walk the plank, all right? But we have a team back here. First of all, Kevin Stew from Kevin Stew on the Night Shift, kevinstew.com. He does all the, the, the digital stuff back there. We have Julia Stedman on cameras, and we have a lady uh, who we just see, we keep to... Just keep her remained as PJ. <laughs> um, that's here with us. Yes, and that's as much. But she's helping at all times with stuff. Okay, folks. Um, first of all, let me introduce my guest. Welcome uh, to Bar Talk and to Jamaicans.com. None other than Mayor Hazel P. Rogers. How are you doing? I'm doing just fine. Luke. How are oh, you? I'm doing good. All right. And secondly, her hobby is here. Just introduce yourself, sir, and we'll be talking to you a little bit. Go ahead. Okay. Didn't know you signed up for all this tonight, no, right? No, no, no. But, but you did. Okay, go ahead. Yes, you can introduce yourself. I'm Clifton Rogers. Clifton Rogers. Yeah. Okay. And guess what, folks? We have the luxury. We got mom in the house. Say hi, mom. Hi. <laughs> Good. All right. This is uh, Mayor Rogers. Yes, sir. I don't know if you've gone on Jamaicans.com before, the actual platform. Yes, sir. You have. But I don't stay on it. My uh, friends will know I'm not on social media. No, have you ever been introduced to anybody, no. any, any programs like this on Jamaicans.com? So guess what? This is the first. What can I say? <laughs> okay. It. So here's the deal. We have about 150,000 people who like this platform. And on any given Sunday, anywhere from 1,000 to 10,000 could be watching. And a whole lot of them are Jamaicans. And so they want to know a little bit. They know about the mayor. They know about the state representative. So we want to start off by telling us a little about the lady that we know from Jamaica. Who is uh, Hazel Rogers? There's somebody who's going to feel good right now because she came from their parish at Tona City. Tell us a little bit more where you were born in Jamaica, your, your upbringing. Can I start so by saying I'm a born Kingstonian? That makes sense? Last week we yes. started. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Usually when you say that, they say, everybody come from Kingston. And that's what I said to somebody know? last week. I said yeah. to them, everybody come from Kingston. But the guy said to me, no, I went to so-and-so school. I didn't know, yeah, he had to be a Kingstonian. Mm -hmm. Where in Kingston were you born? Well, Franklin Town. Franklin Town, near yes, my school. Mm -hmm. And grew up in Kingston, 
went to Vauxhall. Mm -hmm. and I have to go there first. That's yes. my school. Uh -huh. That's my school. Then no, I no, there's somebody in Vauxhall. When I say, yeah, yes, lots good. Lots of netballers come out of Vauxhall. Mm -hmm. yes. You understand? Yes. And yes. lots of musicians too. But I'm telling you, Vauxhall, then Camperdown for a short spell. Mm -hmm. Because right as I was getting to love it, that visa came through. You know how that goes, right? Yes. And you're like, oh my God, I'm leaving all of my friends. Did not like it, wanted to stay in Jamaica. But you know, when your parents make the decision, you go with that it. That lady is here, you have no choice. The visa come, you go. Yes. So I came to this country in 1969. 1969. So and I where did you start off? Um, Brooklyn, man. Brooklyn Heights. Crown Heights. Brooklyn Heights. Brooklyn Heights. Yes, Crown Heights. And tell us a little about how, at what age was that? Well, I can tell you, um, tomorrow is my 46th anniversary, and that's all you're gonna know. <laughs> uh -huh. Whoa! So that leads me, I'm gonna hold off on that just now. I'm gonna stay away from that, and I'm just gonna go to the, 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 the matter that we're here, sir. Um, where did Jamaica you from? Don't tell me Kingston too. No, wait, no, I was really born in St. James. St. James, good, I good left, parish. I left there when I was like maybe six months old. Yes. Kingstonian. Where in St. James? There is a place named Chasworth. Never heard of it. I know. <laughs> I've never heard of it. You know what I mean? I, I Chasworth. Didn't, I didn't grow, grow up there. I grew up in Kingston anyway, though. You know what but I, mean? I bet you there's somebody in Jamaica right now right. who Chasworth, is having yeah. a good vibe right now because you are from Chasworth. Chasworth exactly. Yeah. So good. Um, moved to Kingston, you said? Yeah, yeah. I came to Kingston when I was a little, little almost about 12 okay. months, 12 months old. Okay. I was so that, I really, that. I really didn't know. Uh, actually, about you, you, you're, Jama you're Kingstonian. Kingstonian. You're, you're yeah, Kingstonian. Exactly. You are a Kingstonian. born Kingstonian. Yeah, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you are. Um, so, did you meet her here? Or in Jamaica? No, I, I didn't know her from Jamaica. Okay, so you lived in New York also? Yeah. Okay, good. I, I will come back to that. Yeah, I'm trying right. to get He's back to the folks. He's trying to get some place. I, 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 I'm, I'm getting back to that. Back to you, uh, Mayor Rogers. Uh, so what caused your move to Florida? My husband. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So he's an auto mechanic with Nissan, and he wanted to get closer to Jamaica. You know how that is, yes. right? So that was his idea. I was doing fine. Love Brooklyn. Love the snow. Love shoveling the snow. All that good stuff. But he wanted to get someplace warmer because as a mechanic being outside, that's what he told me. And then I said, okay, how about being closer to Jamaica? That means we'll go to Jamaica more frequently, right? Mm -hmm. So that was my motivation for moving to Florida. Good. So let me ask a question then. Most people know you as the um, politician, they would say. Most people know you as the, 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 the mayor of the um, lovely city of Lauderdale Lakes and a wonderful place and being a state representative. But let me ask you a question. Um, when uh, Mayor Rogers uh, is not politicking, for, pardon my French for, you know, <laughs> so forth, that kind of thing, what can we catch her doing? Well, no, you can't catch me doing anything. COVID has taken over all of our lives. But most people know me as a dancing commissioner. I love to ah! dance. Most people what kind of music? We, we, we are just trying to find any out. Any genre of music. I love to dance. It's here. I dance mm -hmm. to everything. Okay? I see. I see. Can, the, can your husband dance? Yes. I'm a stepper. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. It's that yes. stepper. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Passions outside of politics. Yes, I had a life before. I love netball. Mm -hmm. I love children. Did you did you actually made a team or something? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you that's a me. setup question. Oh, that's a setup question. Oh yes, when I came to Florida, New York was playing netball at the time. Mm -hmm. So relocating here, met up with a former friends back home, and mm -hmm. we decided to drive all the way to Miami. Miami. Pace, U Pace College or Florida Memorial University, they would accommodate us. So 
um, Broward County was driving to Miami to play netball, but the first official netball court in Broward County was in the city of Lauderdale Lakes, of course. Whoa, Hello? so Lauderdale Lakes, that's another first, right? Uh, of we course, got that, yeah. Many firsts. So we had the first junior netball team. We brought up um, netballers. My teacher from Jamaica was mm -hmm. always here with us training our young people, our children, our nieces, nephews, and children, Jackie Shaw, and all that group, Jennifer Itsubne, all of those, Esther Magni. All of us were lovers of netball from Jamaica. So when we came up here, we had a senior team and we had a junior team. And my love was always with the children. So I stayed with the kids. Okay, I, yeah. may, if, if I may just interject, because you have your lovely fans watching. We have Paulette Bale, Norma, uh, um, Ozzy. We have Princess Myra. We have uh, Princess Myra say, hey, hola. Clarence Reg Reynolds says, hey. Big up the Rogers crew. Harris, <laughs> how you doing, man? Marcia Boyne, I'm from Manchester. I don't do Kingston. Love, oh, love. <laughs> and then we have Andrea uh, Green is watching from London. Wow. Um, uh, Damien uh, Bragman, Dennis McIntosh, and some other people are watching. Andrew Allen, um, Angela Campbell, and Nicole. We have quite a few people uh, that are watching here. Guys, do me a favor. Uh, we're going to be having a very inspiring conversation. Uh, so do me a favor. Go into your little, in the chat. Just put some folks' names or call them up. Just ask them to listen. Um, watch out. We are big enough a lady that's done so much for the community. All right. So uh, Cecile, make sure you know I say hi to her. Okay, Cecile, we did. All right. There are people coming on by the minute. Okay. Um, it says uh, the woman behind it all. Um, and in a year when it's, I think, someone, one of your um, people who want to say hi to you, um, who will be saying hi to you, has mentioned to me that you are the most inspiring um, person because of his daughter. His daughter, his little daughter looks up to you because he reminded me that this is 100 years, and if, I, if I'm uh -huh. correct, uh, one in your universe, a woman's suffrage, what is, what's the correct term? Women's suffrage. Women's uh -huh. suffrage. Oh, and, yes. and therefore, out of that 100 years, he says, of that one, year, one of the years, you did like 35 years <laughs> that, mm -hmm. that migration. And he says that he is so proud of you because your his daughter looks up to you as the person who made a difference. What drives, forget the mayor, pardon me, don't uh, um, crucify me for no, putting man. the mayor there. What inspired... Mrs. Rogers, what, what makes you get up in the mornings? Well, first I will say, my family, very, very important to me, mm -hmm. okay? Can't do anything. I call my mom the enabler, because she is always there, and you can Enabling to do what? Anything. Oh, anything you set up to. She will tell you, go to school, you must get your education, and then you can go in the workplace. You're not gonna be in my mom's house. Mm. and not be working or in school. Mm -hmm. That just doesn't work. You're yes. in school or you must be working. So we chose school. Right. Okay. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I have school. a similar story how I ended up at college where my mother had my, suit, my, my suitcase and an invitation to college. <laughs> and she said, you know, go for the interview, you come out of my house. <laughs> it seemed like my parents was <laughs> so always... a hard race. Uh, tough, you know, but it is good because you know they're not playing and they expect for us to come to this country and just do better. Mm -hmm. All right, take care of yourselves, be responsible for yourself. All right, and look at us today. So, so. what we with what inspires you? What inspires me Your is mom? Mm -hmm. my mom uh -huh. and of course my husband, my long my partner. We've been married for a long time. You mentioned again, how many years again? Okay, 46. Ah, Tomorrow congrats. will be 46 Tomorrow years. Tomorrow will be 46 years. Yes. Amazing, yes. congrats, congrats. 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 And guys, we got to be in it. Be you see what I'm talking about? You're all the young people. But you have to, when you make a commitment, you have to understand why. Mm -hmm. And you just live for that and you work with each other and that's what it takes. Don't mean that you don't have challenges, you know. You but said you know, something, I sorry to cut you, Mayor. But you said something that is amazing. You said when you make a commitment, say that again. You make a commitment, you live with it. 
and it is wow. a good thing and it's okay? not something that a lot of people take uh, so many people take for granted now mm -hmm. that yeah i said so but then i changed my mind <laughs> you're <laughs> saying you make it and you live with it and you live with your commitment and you Today you like the person, tomorrow you don't like the person, but you still love the person. Mm -hmm. right? You understand? Know you don't always like yeah. the person, but you love the person. So, right, right. right? So we, that's been my motivation. And we have no children, so the world became our kids. So anywhere my friends, whatever I was doing, children were involved in it. My niece and nephew are the best. Mm. And no grandniece. Mm -hmm. Okay, nieces and nephews. And... They know auntie is a spoiler. They know where to come to. You know, my, I always enjoy my um, Zoe, and she was a trickster. And she would always encourage her parents to drive by my house, and they couldn't understand why it was this child wanted, on, on her way from school, she had to drive by my house. So they came in and realized there was always her special goodie in the house. <laughs> you know, she, that's what we do. They are kids, and I started the junior netball group with, within my city because it was about the foundation for the children. I started engaging the kids in Juneteenth and emancipation mm. because I felt it wasn't being taught in school, That's so right. I wanted them to understand life here in this country. All right, A lot of people suffered for us to be here, and also our parents back home. All right? my, mo my mom gave me a story when she came back to Jamaica to get her green card and folks that she was working with. They chose to take a vacation. That was their choice around the time that she was gonna be in Jamaica. And mom decided, I don't recall how she got to where they were in the hotel in mm -hmm. Ochi or Montego Bay, wherever that resort was that they were staying. And she said, she was sitting there and wouldn't, did not understand why they were taking so long to serve. And when they asked, it was because mm. my mom was sitting in that hotel lobby with this white family. So Jamaica went through it also. We don't like talking about it, but mm -hmm. I talk about it all the time with our children. My husband worked for a rent-a-car, and when he was taking the cars back and forth to the hotels, that's what you do, and recognize in our country there are challenges also. Right. You understand? Yeah. Nobody yeah. wants to talk about it. Right. All right. is well in Jamaica, right. Right? right? Or in the Caribbean. So I know from then what I wanted to be and what I wanted to do, and I just wanted to be engaged in my community. And I did it before I came to Florida because I was living in a beautiful apartment complex in Brooklyn. And all of a sudden, as things begin to change and the population begins to change, then the services and the resources declined. Mm -hmm. The hot water heater wasn't coming on when it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. And you yes. start losing it. Huh? Then I became that mouthpiece, right? Right, and, right. And that's when I knew I, I really like defending my rights. And in so doing, if all of us in the apartment benefited, and we did, and we became friends, some of them moved down here and found me and we were we became best friends. There you, <laughs> you go. Know? There you go. That's our life. Hold that thought for a second because uh, I, I get the best the best joy. I didn't expect to have you here, <laughs> but you are here. Oops. Um most uh, in, in a lot of in, so much in politics is the guy who is the um, the leader and the wife is the supporting cast. How do you deal with such a dynamic, strong woman? Um, this day, when you get home, is there a shut off that you keep Lord of their legs to yourself and let we wish she walks? Tell me how we do. Because there might be some guy out there watching his fiance, his wife, or they may just be starting the journey and wants to know how do you deal with that? Uh, is, is it anything like an ego issue? No, they probably, I know you guys will, but how do you deal with it? How do you deal with home affairs and. Uh, Everything, including showing up here for five o'clock. I like a man that is confident. <laughs> with can I talk? Can that, I talk to your I husband? To <laughs> can I talk to your husband? <laughs> Go ahead. I, I don't have a problem with that. Uh -huh. As a matter of fact, I mean, I sometimes I keep pushing her more than maybe I should, mm -hmm. right? Because I know what she likes, right? And early in life, mm -hmm. 
when I said she did some stuff and she stand up to people and you know what I mean and really advocate for other people, I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. So I am in the background and I tell her, she tell you, I mean, anything you want to do, sweetheart, let me know. Oh. I get that done. Awesome, awesome. You know uh, the quiet giant. The quiet Most giant. Most people don't understand. I, 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 I've experienced right. it because I've been on um, places and I see you in the back, background yeah orchestrating thing he's not gonna take you're not taking a mic but no. you're making sure that whoever needs to be on the mic is there <laughs> and they're on time um 100 years of uh women's suffrage you have created some firsts any of them you care to mention hmm. well who would think that you could leave jamaica your home and mm -hmm. come to a foreign country and be sitting in a position where you're making policies that will be impacting lives for generation to come. That was never anything I felt would happen and it's in my life. Mm -hmm. And because of that, I value it and I make sure I protect the integrity of the process. Mm -hmm. And the more I learn, the better I will be in whatever it is that I need to do. And that is why Started with city mm -hmm. and then went to Tallahassee, but we can talk about we can talk that. about that a little bit because, like I said, we got a little bit more time going. We have some folks, and folks have been literally. I have uh, one person was not feeling too well, and he was like CG, and he made a big production about not being able to come here because he wanted to come in and to to just tell you love on you because you know we we you know we we, we no matter you are a trailblazer in our community and no matter what the politics or anybody want to say the fact of the matter you are a name in our community for which we are absolutely proud and so we have some friends who decided they're going to still come in show up here and they're going to uh <laughs> say hi to you and love on you and tell them how to love you so right now uh, hold on one second. I got a lot of people say, uh, Marcia Brown Samuda, uh, love strong Jamaican woman. Maxine Plummer says, question our balance. Good question about balance and power. Yes, absolute love. Marcia Brown Samuel says, congratulations, Mayor. I have been married for 36 years. I told my husband, if him leave me just when we get the <laughs> trip. Just, just, just what? Just. If, if if I told him, if him leave me, just give me the address. <laughs> My life is good. You know what you go follow him. And we will get back some of those comments. Keep commenting, folks. Keep um, getting people in the chat. We are talking to one of our, mo our most beloved. In the meantime, yes. I think one of our guests has just... Oh, go ahead, Kevin. Marjorie Forrest says, The hardest working state representative and the mayor... In Broward County is Mayor Hazel Rogers. They love it. Yeah. Yeah, Mary. Uh, uh, so many people are on the line on the chat, but right now we're going to oh, and uh, Nadine Thompson Samuel says absolute Nadine. love. She says that's the only thing that make a marriage like this work. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but good. Think we have one of our. Uh, think we have one of our um, guests that's coming in. And he just wanna um, don't, uh, to come in and just tell you how much he loves and appreciates you. So who we have this time? Hey, hey! hey! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? So, so tell you what. I tell you what. Oh, you know, bro. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Steve, with a beard. You, you can't take, you can't take my chair. The beard. The, beard. <laughs> the Corona look. Yes. Uh, Steve, we have to agree to you. Yeah. You, yes. Talk Hello, to. how are you? Good to see you. <laughs> so just briefly talk about your experience knowing this wonderful lady. It, it, well, I'm, <laughs> speak I'm up only in this country. country. You, I'm, I'm tag, you're, yeah, go ahead. So speak, uh, yeah. I've only been in this country for 19 years. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't know Hazel from Jamaica. Um, I knew quite a few other people. Some of them were running for commission, etc., etc. And um, not only did I notice her poise she has a thing about her you know she, yes she, she, yes she has poise and posture but just how she went about dealing with everybody the the, the manner in which she spoke and and how she represented those who um who were in her constituency that's what you call a constituency right <laughs> you take it. and then she moved to 
to, from one um, office to the uh, to, to the next, and then uh, when she reached to the um, to Tallahassee, a uh, state representative said, "But wait, is woman serious?" <laughs> 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 and and but but I think the crowning thing about Hazel is that, in as much as she walks the walk, she has never lost a touch, and she's always been Hazel. Hazel finds time to come to all of my concerts every year, even if she comes to hear one song, <laughs> because she has 50 million things to do every day. But she comes, she, she, she makes sure I see her, you know. <laughs> and then she disappears. And, and, and I know that sometimes, even when she's abroad, in Europe, wherever, and I don't know where she is, but she answers my text messages, Steve, I'm in Europe. When I come back, or do this meanwhile, or whatever. But But... Just, just a fantastic human being and a fantastic representative. Because you know, sometimes you have very nice human beings who are not good representatives. And the other way around, this lady cops it all. I'm actually surprised that you're just receiving that this, this, this. Oh, uh, yes, we haven't even touched on it yet. <laughs> we haven't even touched on it yet. You should have been honored long ago. Yes. No, no, don't say anything. It's not your business. <laughs> but, is it, but is, it the, is the opinion of the people? Yeah, no, no, but, but seriously, seriously. And, and let, me, let me explain this to, to everyone who is listening. Anybody can recommend that anybody who is a Jamaican be conferred with a national honor. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's order of distinction, it's command of the order of distinction, and it goes up to, you know, order of Jamaica, and I think the highest one is order of the nation. It takes too long. Don't wait on anybody else. You see heroes among, among us, you see un un unsung heroes among us, do something. Don't say then why them never do this. You know, I have tried with a number of other, other, other people um, as well, and it just take too long, <laughs> you know, but I'm glad, I'm happy that Thank you have been recognized while you're here. And of course, nobody has recognized you more than this gentleman right here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How many years again? Forty-six. Tomorrow. 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 Forty-six. Forty-six. One man. Yes. <laughs> Don't stop. We just had a conversation. Don't stop, Steve. Steve. Do you have the songs on your phone? Yes. Yes. Well, the first one. Pull up Absolutely. The first one. Um, yeah, I can't locate it. You can't locate it? No. No, 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 ready. Ready, ready like Freddy. I'm ready so like happy you're done talking. <laughs> <laughs> I was making, start getting nervous. I was so, making you shy. What was going to come next? next. <laughs> what was going to be next? So we're not in the love song just now. We're doing the... Okay, the other one. Yes. All right, cool. We'll do this one now then. All right. Oh. Let me sit, let me sit. It's it's on pause. It's on pause. Oh, you, oh, you take that and you leave this. And you leave, yeah. Uh, uh, you don't where's my... Where you see this or no? <laughs> so, so all the people here who have garments with the color blue in it, is that a statement? Is that a <laughs> message? I don't know. Mm. Um, Just ask it. Never thought of it, but it might be. It might be, eh? It's the color of the month. The, the color of the month. Uh -huh. yeah. No man, there's All no right. member that color anyway. Go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All oh, yours, Steve. Take it away. All right. So, um, can you hear me now? <laughs> Loud and clear, man. You serious? <coughs> Loud and clear. Steve, Maybe not even on. Steve, Loud and clear. It's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. You're good, man. Okay. All right. No, Steve likes the background song. Yes, I want to hear some background song, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is Steve Higgins. Thank you. I can hear myself now. Um, www.stevehigginsproductions.com And um, yes, this is my corona look with a beard. And I'd like to dedicate this song to this lady who has represented us very well um, here in Broad County, here in the state of Florida, and of course home in Jamaica. So may I, as soon as this gentleman is ready. It, it it has a little lead in, so it start it starts with a bang. It <laughs> told you. <laughs> no, no, no. Leave, leave it as it is. Leave it as it is. Leave it as it is. <clears throat> and you've heard this song over and over again, but I just want you to listen to the words and let it seep in to every pore of your being. Can we right here for you? When you walk through a storm, hold your head up high and 
Don't be afraid of the dark At the end of a storm There's a golden sky And the sweet silver song of a lark Walk on through the wind Walk on through the rain Though your dreams be tossed and blown Walk on, walk on With a hope in your heart And you never walk alone You'll never walk alone When you walk through a storm Hold your head up high And don't be afraid of the dark At the end of the storm There is a golden sky and the sweet silver song of a rock Walk on through the wind Walk on through the rain Though your dreams be tossed and blown Walk on, walk on With hope in your heart And you never walk alone You never walk Thank you. So, dedicated to you, remember, we know that every step you take, you might think is you alone, and of course your support. Hala we back at you. <laughs> Continue, please. All right. Me? Just your right there. Yes. Uh, uh, this gentleman got caught in. Uh, can you hear me, Chesto? Can you hear? I can hear you. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. Well, go ahead. Uh, just, uh, this gentleman got caught. Chester Bishop was supposed to be here, supposed to follow with you, <laughs> was supposed to come and lower you to Mir, but he is not. He got caught up in um, in Derry Beach. So Chester, go ahead. Just say what you, all the things yeah. you said to me and the inspiration with your daughter and so forth. Go ahead. She's right here. Hazel, my love, how are you? I am doing fine, my darling. How are you? I was trying to come and surprise you, but it didn't quite work out. But you know, I'm sending lots of loves and hugs. I feel You're it. so special to us. And uh, as I told Luke, you know, you're you're a true inspiration to not only me but all the young people with everything that you do, from affordable housing to mental health. All you have done in the legislature when you legislature when you were a state representative what you continue to do as a mayor. I just wanted to take the time to give you lots of love and wish you all the best and congratulations. 
Thank you. Love you. You're too. most welcome. Your family, you know that, right? Of course. <laughs> I mean, we go, we, we go way, way back, back, way, way back. I think I might have to touch on that story. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, I know they don't know that we were on the campaign trail together at one point. And then we took, took different paths. <laughs> 1995. <laughs> Chester, what's supposed to come sing with me? Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, Chester, we have to run. We got like 10 minutes All right. in the show. Can you believe that already? It sure is almost Oh, right. geez. Yes. Yeah, so All right, run. I'm sure she's getting lots of love from everybody. Oh, oh, but yes. thanks oh, again yes. for having me on. Yeah. Thanks for calling. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, oops. Sorry, I didn't say that for you. All right. <laughs> Mommy, good. Do you want to say something? You like what I said? No, 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 no. Put her there. <laughs> that is 90 year old talking. Hey, talk on the way. 90 year old. Talk on the way. How are you frightening her? I'm not talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, tell us something. I just get to her top. Tell, tell me one thing that is safe to tell us something that nobody knows, which is safe about her, <laughs> that nobody knows about her but you. Well, which is safe to tell the public. She knows I'll fight for her. Mm. Yeah, we know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she. Especially, I'll fight for her. Yes. And you are you guys are the splitting image. Yes. Yes. Most people think she's my sister, so I take that. I'm uh, uh, yes. <laughs> hey, no no way people would believe that she is ninety. Yes. Ninety? No yes. Way. What? No. Last week so oh. Friday. That's ninety? The eighteenth of September. Zero. That's so my mama. One, Look at her. One nine. <laughs> Folks, good genes. This, this, is, this is a little bit of an impromptu <laughs> show, as you see. It's not, not our normal cleaned up show, what have you, but listen. Um, what do you mean cleaned up? Not, 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 we're my son the best. What are you talking about? <laughs> 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 that is scruffles, folks. That is scruffles. <laughs> this, <laughs> is <a> <laughs> 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 this is the corona look. And yes. I <laughs> see people and I say, why did you this do is, that? This is really bar talk at this point, <laughs> folks. But we recognize, first of all, the order of, stink, of, 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 of distinction uh, uh, as commander, that's the role. When was this bestowed on you? I think it's Independence Day. On Independence, Independence Day. Day. Yes, the decision, the, the, board, the, the, the meeting for the um, selection committee mm -hmm. happens at Jamaica House um, okay. in and around. Mm -hmm. That yes. time it was and announced. And we were notified and announced. Independence Day, Independence and the Day. order will be officially conferred. On Heroes Day. On Heroes, on Heroes, Heroes Day. Day. Virtual okay. this year, I'm told. Virtual? Yes. 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 This yes. is Corona decision. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, you'd have to um, quarantine for 14 days. Exactly. Exactly. Come on, we don't want to do that. So guess My what? entire family. Not necessarily. Yeah. <laughs> no, by the way, mommy says she won't be coming down here, so I understand. <laughs> so, folks, this is uh, the woman behind it all. That's the, 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 the topic. So, if you're listening, if you're calling in and listening, now you listen to any politics. Mm -hmm. It's not on this yeah. show. Yeah. We want to love on her and her family. Mommy is here, and uh, um, uh, I saw us. I'm, I'm, I'm going. Cautious is the man in the house. <laughs> it's here. Yeah, you're back. Wait, me cautious. The, house. <laughs> the <laughs> views expressed by this man is not the views of our talk. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. This the, man is, the man of the house. I appreciate you, Mr. Rogers. I've seen his quiet giant self, how he operates, and it's, it's so cool. So, on your anniversary, Mr. Higgins himself thought he would just um, say, I oh. thought I'd present to Miss Hazel um, my. He gonna take it from you, folks. My, um, <laughs> my my CD on love, my um, CD on Jamaican folk music and on sacred music, but this is on love, okay. and I expect you, sir, to play this tonight. <laughs> ah, will do. While you dance with her. Mm -hmm. Woo woo. Ma'am, <laughs> will you accept this, please? When Corona done, I come for my hug up. <laughs> <laughs> Missing the love and the hugs and the kisses. I'm missing my friends. We're loving each other from a distance. And there's a special lady I expected to be knocking on this door. So I'm surprised that the special. Uh, she chose actually. She lady. chose to not make it that somebody may think it's political. So she don't want a political prop. She <laughs> wants you to enjoy your day. And while I so have that here, was deliberate. I have been asked by the gentleman who just spoke, Luke Valentine, 
um, to do number five, that's on that. And so you can do whatever you would like to do oh, yeah. to celebrate um, you your that. anniversary. Yes. So I'll take that now, Kevin. Yes. Good to see you again, Kevin. As yeah. always, bro. <laughs> Turn it up a little. Why is man oh. oh. say only fools rush in? But I can't help falling in love with you. Can I stay? Would it be? Take a picture, take a picture. Or I can't help falling in love with you. Like a river flows surely to the seas, darling, so it goes. Some things were meant to be So take my hand Take my whole life too For I can't help falling in love And now I've outlived my usefulness, so goodbye. <laughs> good man, a good man knows when to quit. <laughs> Stay right, it's just, you've just hosted for me, uh, Steve. I'm hosting. Uh, the lady who gave me all the information. <laughs> uh, just so for the records, folks, you know, I invited her, but she says, you know, uh, showing up as another um, representative and so forth, she don't want to take away anything from your moment, but she certainly wants to say hi to you. So I have none other on the phone but Commissioner Denise Grant. Commish? Oh, can you, hi, can you hear me, Mayor Rogers? I can hear you, my dear, and I, let me first say thank you for everything that you have done. Thank you for recommending me for the honors <laughs> out of our country, our island home. Thank you, your special lady. Well, I, listen, you are so deserving of everything, 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 and absolutely more. Um, for those of the persons who do not know, uh, Mayor Rogers, you have been a part of this whole uh, governmental stride since 1996. 1996, you are the pioneer for all of us who now are on the trail and we are extending ourselves in this capacity. But I will tell you that it is not possible and would not have been possible without you leading the way. And so when Luke and I spoke and he decided to do this whole segment on you, 
and it's about everything about you. It's all about you. It is the, the segment is based on who you are as a woman, who you are as a government official, who you are as a wife, who you are as a mother to all of us, who you are as a daughter, who you are as a businesswoman, an entrepreneur, and all of that stuff. And for me to be there, it would really take away from the moment. I am so happy to see Mr. Rogers there as well and to see mom in the background. And you know how I feel about you. I can even start crying, but I won't. You <laughs> We're not really going to do that. Great... <laughs> we are not you going there today. <laughs> tremendous... <laughs> you have been a tremendous inspiration to me. You've been an amazing mentor, not just to me, but I would actually say to most of the Caribbean, in particular, the Jamaican young women that are here in South Florida who really have just sat under your tutelage and have watched you with so, so much strength and so much tenacity and so much grit. And no matter what, you fight your way through. There is no one, I will say, in this political arena that is stronger than you, Mayor Rogers. And I always say it. And I always have to add to the fact that I'm glad that you like me. That helps. <laughs> 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 like me and that we are on the same team and I'm in a whole lot of trouble. But I will tell you this, there were times when I, when I first got elected, there were some tough, 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 tough moments. And you were the one that stood behind me. And you really were the wing beneath my knees. So Aww. I just thank you so much for everything that you have done. Words, enough words, you know I can chat. Yeah, I was just gonna words. interrupt. <laughs> And to say I that know. you're I, awesome, I, 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 you're a strong well, woman, and I know you're <laughs> going to be the best elected official. I'm just going to sit back and watch you blossom. And that will be when I can say, well, I just, look at I just what I have He gave me done. an opportunity. So I'm not going to take up too much of his time and your time, but I just want to let you know that there are not enough words in my vocabulary to be able to fully describe how I feel about you. And so sometimes I keep my mouth shut and I just show in terms of action. And you know what? The best is yet to come. I pray that God will be able to enhance both of our territories and bless us in the way that we are all to so that we can be more of a blessing to our community. And together we will be able to do greater things. You are an inspiration to me. You're my second mom. I love you with everything in me. Please enjoy your day. Please enjoy your day. And there's more to come. We know on Tuesday you're going to be honored by the city of Lauderdale, Hill, not just because you received this uh, recognition in Jamaica, um, for you being a strong advocate for the Caribbean diaspora, uh, Jamaica, and also just the Caribbean at large, but for all the hard work you have done here in the United States of America and carrying the torch, and you're still doing it now for Biden and, um, and Harris. So we thank you so much. We love you on behalf of myself, my family, everywhere in Canada, and Jamaica, in England. You know, we are everywhere. Oh, we love great. you, and we just say enjoy this day. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you, you Commissioner. Mayor. Commissioner. Yes. Yes. You, do you know that it's also our 46th anniversary? It's mom's birthday just recently, and this makes, what, 35 years? What you're trying to figure out? <laughs> a, a public service. Next year is going to be 25 years that she's in politics. Get okay. it right, Luke. Uh, and, Get it right. <laughs> Get it right. And 46 years. And 46 years of marriage. Yes, sir. All right. Well, I am her daughter, and I would say I'm her favorite child. Although I give most tr of the trouble. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I will Mama tell you that I do know all of those things, and I'm so oh, happy yes. that she's on the show to celebrate today. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. This is a pleasant surprise because I only asked my husband to join me, but I knew I wanted mom to come because I wanted to take a picture with her. So, you know, we yes. just want to continue to love on her, and that's our family. Well, folks, just before we wrap up, like I said, this was the, 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 the title of today's um, program is The Woman Behind It All. And therefore, it's all about um, not so much the politics, 
But so many people that I've spoken to over the years will tell you that apart from the politics, which is important because of what, I, and, and when I say politics, I'm not trying to minimize the role you have played because that role has afforded so many people a different way of life. But today, so, so it's, when I say beyond the politics, it's not because I'm downplaying the politics. Let it be, be clear, folks. Your role over the years have made a difference for people. You have opened doors. You have inspired people. Uh, every time I talk to somebody, you talk about having nieces. Um, everybody I talk to tell me about Auntie uh, Hazel, <laughs> Auntie Hazel. There are people from down your church who talk about her. And I'm like, how many? Uh, there's so many. This is a never you have, but it's the love that people have. So you have actually impacted people's lives well beyond the polls because your your personality, I guess, Rab Rogers is what got to you mentioned about you know, that 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 um, apartment in New apartment, York yeah. and the issues. It's just that's will, and that's what we want to celebrate about you. Um, you, you, you're will to make change when you see something that's different. And she's led a life of service to the community, mm -hmm. not only the Jamaican and Caribbean, but the South Florida community to our state mm -hmm. um, at that level, level. literally and, right. and, and also figuratively, and also to nation and to the diaspora. So, so don't, don't just. Just show it. I mean, I'm, I'm showing it, but I, I, I'm sure it. But, but I'm you making know what sure. What I love the most mm -hmm. about the opportunity that is afforded me from being in this position, I was able to with Unifest. That was long before, yes. because you recognize that we're here in this country and we're taxpayers. That's how I used to put it, yeah. and we need to invest in our community. So we started Unifest, and we said. And we had all of the countries there. It wasn't just a Jamaican thing, yeah. right? And then we started saying, okay, if I bring up a band, maybe that's the first time that group will ever get an opportunity to travel. I'm looking for that opportunity. So when I heard Portmore had visited Tampa, I mm -hmm. said, and not come to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, come to, you know, I got jealous instantly mm -hmm. and reached out. Good. And they have been coming to Unifest fighting for their visas and everything. And when my children come up here, well, we have a good time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We just have a yes. good time. When we started the netball and I took the kids to Jamaica, man, I dressed them up and made them look like the people to get into Pegasus. Yes. <laughs> yes. Because I am going to have a party and I'm going to have fun. Right. So right. you're going to yeah. sit right over there while I have fun. But I can see you and tell your parents I've watched you 24-7. Mm -hmm. yeah. I took some the marching band to Jamaica after Portmore kept coming this mm -hmm. way. I said, mm -hmm. our kids from here need to mm -hmm. experience Jamaica. That has a lasting impact on and those lives. And we took them down. Yeah. And you yeah. know what yeah. I was not supposed to do? They were not supposed to go beside any beach or anything like that. You think we never got to Hellshire? <laughs> 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 and we can go through that fancy place. We'll follow the natives. Fish and festival. To, around the back. Around the corner. Yeah, yeah, and make that. sure so they enjoy themselves. And they oh, Lord, wanted man, to I'm sit kidding. in the bus to eat. I said, where are the other fr team members? Right. They're sitting on the sidewalk. I said, get off the bus and go sit of on course. the sidewalk. Teach them. Gonna enjoy the this. experience. You the have to enjoy Jamaica. Yeah. Yeah. That's Teach what them. it is. Teach so them. for me, it's imparting to our young people. That's my greatest joy. And awesome. my family. And I have a sister, two sisters and a brother, and they have offsprings. Mm -hmm. And they're our lives. You know, that's what it is. So thank awesome. you. Probably. Folks, you see why oftentimes every now and then somebody decides uh, they're going to get they're gonna <laughs> go in a race with her and then change their mind halfway through. <laughs> it don't make no sense because she's the real deal. It's not a, just about an opportunity to be a, 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 it, it's, in other words, it's not a prefect but a hall monitor badge. It's real service because it's innate in this woman. And that's why we're celebrating. Before we close out, Mr. Rogers, any yes, last sir. thoughts on your wife? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes she's the pain. There you go. That's the realism. Give it up. That's the realism. I'm going to tell you why. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She comes home with all these projects. Yes. And all of a sudden, I am involved. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Yes. For better for work. Just like to do. For better for worse. 
what to do. I think, yes. you, know, you still got to carry through and do what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? Like she says, I when we are said I do, it yeah. is I do. I do. <laughs> you do. You do. You do. You do. You do. You said I do. I know. I do. I do. They said do what? I, I do everything. On the do list. So folks, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we really appreciate I uh, really appreciate your coming in today um, to tune in with us. I because of everything that happened, we did get I see Steve, you're going through all of the comments and all the love signs. Of going. course, I see. It. But we did not get to reach out to some of you folks, so we will come back and get through to a bit of it. But we thank you so much for being here. As always, this is Bar Talk. This is a friend here, a Bar Talk. Uh, Steve Higgins, go see Steve. Uh, listen, I just want to punch something real quick. Two things real quick. This show, and I forgot to mention that we had a sponsor for the show, and in all of the hoopla, we forgot. Um, Charlie's Pastries. Ooh. Charlie's Thank Pastries. You. A long time. First of all, she was a, a church member, still um, family. She called me Brother Luke to this day. Charlie's Pastries have been around since 1983. Mm -hmm. And they've always been involved in the community exactly. and continue to involve in the community. And so we just want to make sure that you folks know these are some of the subtle things that they do to make sure that these programming like this continues. So uh, Sister thank Pat, you. Sister Pat Booth and the rest of the, the Charles family, uh, we thank you. We appreciate you. And folks, always, if you need to check out truly Jamaican, authentic, one of the first restaurants on 12th Street. Of course. In Lauder Hill, the city of Lauder Hill. <laughs> and they will feed my kids whenever I go to Miss Pat. And I never I go to Miss Pat. Number, I know how to reach her. She doesn't hide from me. Charlie's Pastry, thank you always. I'm looking, always. For, I'm looking for the patty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, you only go and get that. That's on the, <laughs> that's on the thank screen. You. Awesome and folks, sponsor. thank you. We, we support each other. And uh, the, all the music you enjoy, I hear the ladies talking about, can I sing, oh Lord, oh my, or this and that. Did I say that? The, he, <laughs> Folks, listen. The brother takes time to master his craft. We need to support each other. So, Steve, before you finish, just plug where we can find you and where we can find your music. All kind of music. Okay, everybody. <clears throat> and, folks, after Steve finishes, he's going to tell you goodbye. So, on behalf of Bartok team and I, I'm checking out, but make sure you finish with Steve. All right? One love. Nice. Remember, this is brought to you by Jamaicans.com. <laughs> so it's it's Jamaicans.com. It's uh, Facebook.com forward slash One Love Jamaica. Peace. Okay, to, to to get my music and and it's wonderful music. It's um I have Jamaican folk music. I have love songs such as the one I just did, and also um a, a CD of sacred music. Um, including the National Anthem of Jamaica. So please log on to www.stevehigginsproductions.com That's stevehigginsproductions.com and, and just look on the music store and please get a CD. All the CDs, by the way, that, that, that are purchased through this medium, you'll get them autographed, all right? So don't bother with the download, just buy the CD, all right? And, and they, you'll get them by the end of this, this coming week. And... Uh, um, so, so get your CDs, you know. I, I see you writing down there. Yeah. So, um, uh, not state rep, uh, Mayor, Mayor Hazel, you mentioned um, um, teaching the kids and taking care of the kids. Promise me now that you'll teach them a few of the Jamaican folk songs. We, we, we need that, all right? And, and this, this one is actually a greeting song. The I'm, still doing it. Oh, I'm still doing it. Good. Still doing it. Yes. More to come on that. Good. So let's go. This one everybody knows. It's like the first one you think of. Let's go. But I have to hear it. Yeah, go hear it. All right, <laughs> cool. This long time, girl, me never see you. Come make me hold your hand. This long time, girl, me never see you. Come make me hold your hand. Feel a junk cross, sit on pantry top, pick up the blossom, make, make me hold your hand, y'all, make, make me hold your hand. This long time, girl, me never see you. Come make me walk and talk. This long time, girl, me never see you. Come make me walk and talk. Feel a junk cross, sit on pantry top, pick up the blossom, make me hold your hand, y'all, make me hold your hand. 
This a long time, girl, me never see you. Come make a wheel and turn. This a long time, girl, me never see you. Come make a wheel and turn. Peel a chunk cross, see down pan tree top, pick off the blossom, make me hold your hand, girl. Make me hold your hand. Make a wheel and turn till we tumble down. Make me hold your hand, girl. Make a wheel and turn till we tumble down. Make me hold your hand. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Say what? Pull on a second, <laughs> Steve. Don't go away. Give me that plug. Have mercy. Uh, Lord, <laughs> yes. Uh, have mercy. There you go. Um, on your phone? Yes. Right this one, right this one, right The piece? Yeah, man, right this hmm. I know we're running, yes. Oh, meanwhile, Facebook, just look at, at Steve Higgins, singer Steve Higgins. <laughs> you can't run Facebook as well. Shameless plug, Steve. Well, while Lou gets his act together. Uh, <laughs> and you see all the activities. Uh, can you hear me? Go ahead now. Yes. Can, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, Mayor Rogers. Yes, sir. One of your friends called you down tell me, said, I must be crazy that we could have, <laughs> have something like this and that invite you. So, Jerry, go ahead. Peter King. <laughs> <laughs> All the way from Tampa. Good afternoon, from Tampa. Mayor Rogers. Hi, darling. How are you? How are you? <laughs> I am doing fine. Nice to hear your voice. <laughs> you too. I, had to I have your Aki in the freezer. I can't trust it to come in the mail. <laughs> I have your Aki in the freezer. Can I trust it? Like I trusted the mangoes. Um. I can't trust the Aki at all. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, I just had to call to say congratulations. Want to love on you too. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. Have to love on you too. Mom, happy birthday. I missed it. Nobody reminded me. <laughs> I saw your parade. Thank you. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Thank you, Jerry. Love you, too. You know your family has been part of my journey. You've been in my journey with me. So former work for the city of Lauderdale Lakes, lived in the city of Lauderdale Lakes. I tried to keep her, but Tampa took, Tampa took her. her. Mm. But she, she engaged with the women celebrating women, and she comes down and we support the, in March, Women History Month, and we support the Alzheimer's Foundation and the Northwest Federated Women's Club, and could not have done it without the women in my life. So thank you, Miss Jerry, and hopefully we can have something real soon. Absolute, absolutely. I want to say hi to Mr. Clifton Rogers, too. Can't leave him out. Okay. <laughs> Our chauffeur. <laughs> yeah, so good to see everybody. Mom, you're looking fabulous. Did you see me? All right, there. Yeah, I see you right now. I see you right yes, now. yes, good to see everybody. <laughs> yes, thank you, Luke, for allowing me to just say a few moments, oh. you know, a few words with my friend. Thank I have you. to say, because she is so special to me. She has, you know, I'm family, so you just have to love on each other. So I couldn't allow this moment to pass and not participate. Actually, Jerry, I just recall uh, years ago, the first person who ever introduced me to you, Mayor Rogers. Was Jerry. Was Jerry. I remember. So, uh, yeah. So we go, with, and she's my church sister for All 90 right, years. And I got some other calls that came in, but I kind of had to in the interest of time. But Jerry, no matter what, had to come on. So mm -hmm. Jerry. Love you. We'll talk later, all right? Thank you. Thank you all. Have a good rest of the show. Okay. okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Jerry. Show done. All right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Steve, just close out. Moment to remember. You want me to do that? Okay. Is that the song? Yes, though. Bring it down. Bring it down. So, yeah. so, 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 yeah. so yeah. Bring down. So. No, man. Come close the show. <laughs> you can't ask. You can't ask. I got to close the show. Oh, why not? Because Bye, everybody. We'll again. Oh. Um, <laughs> you, you sing now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, you, don't, you don't need that mic. I just remember I don't need it. Uh, yeah. Folks, it's one of those, it was a talk about an impromptu show. It, it's very impromptu for me also because some things that, um, honestly, Mayor Rogers, you have people who are really, sometimes we don't see it. Sir Rogers, sometimes we don't see it. We haven't had a chance to get through some of the um, 
uh, Marie Reynolds, strong Jamaican woman, authentic, unique, powerful woman. Nadine, fabulous. Wow, God is awesome. 40 years old, 46 years old of marriage. Only God uh, could... Uh, uh, could we also see uh, Mayor Rogers' other half? Kevin, why you haven't did that? <laughs> Nadine, why didn't, why didn't you show him? Um, <laughs> Mom looks fantastic. Oh, Lord, we're running. Luke, is that wine or what? <laughs> Clinton what? G. Rudder, congratulations, uh, Mayor Rogers, your pastor. And he came here earlier on today and he did a segment for you. We should hear another time. <laughs> so people are just out there. Uh, it's Clinton G. Rudder, congratulations, well deserved. Juliet uh, T. Stedman, love, love, love. Annette Carvalho, uh, love, love, love. Claudette uh, McNeil Stedman. Jamaica's strong, resilient people. Hazel Rogers, you are number one in a million. Um, and folks, it goes on and goes on and our time is up. Um, we just love that you tune in and that you really Thank appreciate. You. If you never knew that people in the diaspora really appreciate you. Appreciate love. Uh, love. The, it is. That's when I say well beyond politics. I'm not minimizing your contribution to politics because you have made a difference. for. But people wanted a chance to see you, to love on you, to know, which so many of them do, but like on this platform didn't know. And they are loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it loving it so listen thank, thank you, you so much for inviting me and thank you to commissioner denise grant thank uh you. uh commission you heard commissioner denise grant i know she's watching also <laughs> and folks we are truly out of time so listen until next week this is bar talk coming to you from moment to remember studios here in sunrise florida and on jamaicans.com you can find jamaicans.com every week on facebook it's facebook.com forward slash one Love Jamaica. Peace out. God.